All right, runners, you don't need to know this. We are just days from the Buffalo Marathon. You've been preparing for weeks now, and thousands of people are going to be running the race this year. You can cheer them on as they make their way around the Buffalo area Sunday morning. The race starting at 6.30 a.m. You know, you say that people have been training for weeks now. I think it's more like months for many people who've been running mm -hmm. the marathon. Mm -hmm. We're maybe in the last couple of days for those of us who are running the half, but that's a different story. So uh -huh. this morning, uh, we're helping you get race ready if you're not necessarily ready just yet with everything you need to know before you start off. The race executive director, Greg Weber, is here now mm -hmm. with us this morning, and he's going to show us exactly what we need to know before we head out. Right. All right, Greg, so you've got two full days left. To tell us how everything's looking and what people need to know if they're headed down. Well, everything's looking cool. really good. First off, thanks for having us. Um, the city's ready. Our race course is ready. Um, we're ready. Um, right now we have road closures on Sunday. They start at 4 a.m. and go till about 1.30. Uh, so, but the really important thing there is that people go to our website and look for the road closure maps. I mean, we have all that information up just to make, make it easier on the city. And we linked it for you as well, so you can see that on WKBW.com. Also, Greg, let me ask you, what's new this year for people who've done this race before? What's new? We do something new every year. So this year we partnered with Kaleida Health. We're doing the Heart to Heart Relay. Uh, it's benefit Heart Health at Buffalo General and Gates Vascular. We have 43 teams that signed up 100 days ago, and we've already raised over $55,000, so we're really happy with that. And for a lot of fun, we created a diaper dash. Tell me about this. What is a diaper dash? A diaper dash, um, I'll be selfish. My daughter had a baby seven <laughs> months ago, so she wanted to have a diaper dash. Yeah. So we added this event. It's 26.2 feet instead of miles. And they're going to crawl, provided we don't get rain. I'm hoping we don't get rain. They're going to crawl under the finish line. <laughs> if it happens to be raining, we're moving them inside. Well, that sounds amazing. What fun and fun for all ages, very clearly, if they're starting that young. All right, so if you're going to be running this weekend, you've got to get ready. You've got to get limber. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's give you some news that you can actually use here. So here's the deal. Uh, there are two things that you should know. Stretch before beforehand and then stretch after. I'm here with my man Jim from Excelsior Orthopedics. Thanks for being with us this morning. Jim, I want you to show us number one, the most important stretch after the race. What do we need to know? Sure, so we're going to show you what's called a hamstring crawl here and essentially what this does is it gets your lower body a little bit more limber after you're putting in well, 5k, 13.1 or 26.2. Okay, so what's the first step here? So what we'll have you do is get into a push-up position. Okay, here, Kitty, hold this for a second. Thank oh, okay, you can do this I, with my, I think my mic is actually on, so I'm going to do it with you here. Excellent. So we'll be in a push-up position here. We're okay. going to keep our knees straight. Okay. And what you're going to do is walk your toes towards the palms of your hands. Kind of like a crab almost. Almost like an inchworm. Oh, my oh, gosh. Okay. That really, you can feel it all <laughs> in the hamstring. Now Holy walk, cow. Walk those toes back out. Okay. Like so. so we usually have athletes repeat that about 10 times. Okay, 10 times here. From there, we'll go into what we call a Spider-Man. Spider-Man. And what we'll have you do is bring your right foot outside your right hand. Okay, right foot outside the right hand. <laughs> so I want you to get yours in a little bit closer. Oh, right? wow. Okay, my there pants are going to split. Yeah. How's Mine that? Too. <laughs> take, your, take your right hand. Right hand. Rotate it up towards the sky. Okay, up to the sky. Following that hand and then Follow bring it back and down. bring it back down. And that'll help open up the hips. Now bring the foot okay. back to where you started. Back to where I started. And you repeat on the left. Repeat on the left. So I'll bring it like that. Exactly right. Look up to the sky. Oh, I felt my back crack I there. Back crack. Oh my gosh, Jim, I'm going to be in rough shape this weekend. But uh, hey, listen, because of you guys, we're going to be all stretched yeah. out after the race. And I really appreciate you showing us what we need to know. I was about to say, at what point do you need your friend to help get oh you up God. off the ground there? Can I tell you, I fell it all in my glutes. All right, Ed, that <laughs> is. Now, hey, thanks so much for joining us this morning, guys. And if you want to double check all those road closures, you can do that right now on WKVW.com. Aaron Minkowski is tracking your most accurate forecast for us this morning. Aaron, uh, we're praying for some nice weather on uh, Sunday because Lord knows we're going to need all the help we can get out there. <laughs> and the race weather looks very, very nice. You're looking at temperatures in the 60s. For